it's story time again. You guys have apparently been loving our stories about how we met and married and why I broke up with her for eight months and how we got back together again. And then you tease another story. You just keep milking this. So what's, that, what's the <laughs> last fun. story about why it's I almost ruined the proposal? Ruminance. Well, you didn't almost ruin it. I, I almost, wanted to. I almost ruined it. <laughs> so uh, I was going to propose to Deanna uh, on the weekend of her birthday and I was driving down to Houston where she lived. Actually driving down together because you were going to school mm -hmm. up where I was in Dallas. And so we were driving down to her family's uh, house in Houston, and on the way, what were you doing? On the way, what were you doing? <laughs> okay, what was I doing then? Tim was playing some... I was trying to set the mood for the proposal, is yeah. what I was trying to do. So he was playing like all this like love music and romantic, like... I'm music, good at setting the like... tone. <sighs> <laughs> Keep going. I didn't know it was coming, and so for me, like I was feeling like I was at the point I was like, I was okay. holding your hand. And what Trying were you doing with sweet. my hand? I was touching your ring finger. He likes. He was to hold my hand and just like play. <laughs> Maybe right that here. was a little too far. That was to, probably a little too far. To, to tell me oh, there's not a ring on your finger, but we're listening to romantic <laughs> music right now, and I'm just gonna rub it in that I'm not making a Are commitment. Are you still bitter about right this? Now. It was bad. <laughs> you sound like you're still bitter. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so anyway. But I mean, you were teasing me. You're right. Like, I was probably... You don't have a ring on your finger, but I'm going to play all this love music and stuff and you're not right. make a commitment to you is what was going on in my head. Okay. So so how, you had this attitude, but 10 times worse. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad. Uh -huh. And uh, so we're driving the car. It's like four hour drive or something. And by the time so we I hit started like, ranting northern... and raving of like, why are you? playing with my finger and why are you playing this music you're not ready to make a commitment i would make a commitment but you're not ready <laughs> yeah she's like if this isn't going anywhere then i don't want to be in this relationship i heard that i was like oh my god because i had the the engagement ring like in the trunk in my suitcase you know and uh so i remember we we're like the northern part of houston we're on the interstate, and I was, like, so fed up with it. Like, I turned off the music and everything, but she was still, like, going on. I mean, we started crying, and I was like, that's it. And I was about ready to pull the car over. And just throw and the just ring. And go in the back, get the ring, be like, here, you happy now? Like, see, I, am, I can't commit. I just dropped 100% of my savings on this little rock, you know. And, and then just, like, just get her to be quiet <laughs> but i didn't <laughs> so then we were um the day that you proposed like we had already spent time with my family and then the next day we were gonna go hang out with one of my friends like my best friend um the one who was the only person that i told that i was gonna go meet him um so we were supposed to go meet her and i was like so excited because i hadn't seen her in a while and tim wanted to take his dear old time and go <laughs> <laughs> give me my birthday present but it had to be in a special place it did because they want a lot of people around and so we went to the we went to the beach where we had our first kiss but there were a lot of people there so tim was like i, I can't, to get give, down you, on one knee I can't all, give you your birthday wanna, present in front of all these people so i was like what in the world like why are you embarrassed attract, to give me a present i don't want to make a scene <laughs> you know i just wanted to be a, a private moment for us and so we left that beach and then drove around and he was like where else could i give you your present and dana just wants to go meet her friend and like, just well, like she's waiting it. for us like we need to like her just give me the present like but she really wasn't waiting she was in on it too yeah i told her I, I i told her like a few days before i was like just put it off like and she wasn't even at the area where you thought she was she wasn't even, she was like waiting for us to come back from their proposal so the, so she was the whole thing was a us, setup yeah but she, but was but she wasn't it. yeah so she was like delaying you on purpose oh yeah like i can't meet for you another hour yeah, she's let's hang out with tim messages. type of thing and so she was dan was like all right fine <laughs> And so I'm looking at her. So I knew we had time, but Dan was like, why isn't my friend meeting us right now? So. Yeah, why are you being so weird? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad weekend for you. It was. <laughs> but then we did find the, find a spot where it was like kind of private. There weren't like tons of people around. That's where I used to go right jogging the along the water. Yeah, in the Gulf of Mexico there. And, um, and so you stayed. No, you went on ahead a little bit. I said, go stand over there. It's in the trunk. I got to get it ready. And that's when I had uh, the little, actually, it's right over there. Here, I get it. 
we keep this sitting out uh, just so we can always see it. And it's a little box that I got at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something. I painted it, it says, Your Heart, My Treasure. And then open it up. And this is what I had to prepare in the trunk while, Dan while Dana was out. I was playing with the camera. Me. You gave yeah, me your camera bit. to go play with. Inside here, it said, Will You Marry Me? We should open it up. And inside, you can see some of that green foam. The Oasis. Yeah, the green foam is like we used to put like um, flowers. Like, yeah, fake plants and flowers, you know. You can do stuff. real flowers in it too. That's true. And so the ring was stuck down like right in there, and then the rest of it had a little bit of sand and like really tiny seashells on it. So the the ring was sticking up out of the sand. So I set all that up, carefully walked it over to her, and I don't really rem remember after that. Dana. That's all I remember. <laughs> you said it. I, I forget how I set it up, but I know it happened. <laughs> and we still have the video of it, which is linked up YouTube around here. No? Yeah, the reenactment is there. Okay. We went, like, found her friend, and then her friend came back with us. Like, So that video was taking about a half hour after we got engaged. Um, but so whatever I said, I said it in that video. So if you want the details, you can go watch that one. And she said yes. And then we got in the car, driving to go meet her friend then. And then all she was saying was, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Oh, and then it was like that for about 15 <laughs> minutes. Almost literally nonstop is how I remember it. <laughs> I already talked to her parents, you know. They drove out like know, three hours. Like a, a while, while before. So they knew it was coming. And so, but my parents, I don't know if they knew it was coming. I guess they did. I don't remember that part of the story. But anyway, we, we called friends, told everyone. And went and hung out with your brother and sister-in-law. Yep. So that's how that happened. And if you guys have any other questions about that or anything else, you can comment below. Anything else you want to tell them? We need it. We need to do a baby update. Baby update. A baby's update. Twins. Yeah, because I so haven't. What's going on with I this? don't think we've told you guys anything since my last ultrasound. Um, yeah, because I was going to tell people on my channel about it. I'll go in detail about it on there. But we had an ultrasound on Wednesday, and. Um, yeah. The, it was just to measure the blood volume in their brain and in their umbilical cords and their um, volume wasn't supposed to go above 45 and baby A was measuring around 52 and then baby B was at 39 so they weren't. Which means one had more, way too much blood and the other one didn't have enough blood. Yeah and um, they weren't worried about the one that was below the level because that was like what was supposed to happen. So she went ahead and did the rest of the ultrasound and everything and then came back to baby A and remeasured and got a reading down as low as 45. Um, but because of that, I have to go back on Wednesday and do another ultrasound. So we're doing like weekly ultrasounds for almost a month right now. Hopefully we can go back to every two weeks, but um, be praying for them that they will be healthy and have the right volumes and sizes and measurements and everything that they're supposed to. So, and I'm getting so incredibly uncomfortable. Like, it's tough. <laughs> and we've got 10 more weeks to go until 38 weeks. I think she should just go stay in bed, but <laughs> she doesn't like that idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to get done. Um, like the kids' rooms, I need to make the quilts for the girls, which we bought all the fabric for the quilts, so I'm so excited. Um, so I'll get to be doing those pretty soon. And that'll be rest. If you follow us on Instagram and Snapchat, then you've already seen the, the colors and the fabric. For one of them. I have, I'm so. going to, well, yeah, by the time you see this, you'll see an Instagram yeah. of the other one. <laughs> so links are down there below. If you want to follow us on Instagram and Snapchat. And thanks for hanging out. If you have any questions, comment below. We'll do our best to answer them in our next vlog, either about the marriage, proposal, babies, twins, family team stuff that would be fun to talk about that too so thanks for hanging out see you then bye, bye. and birthday when we were not together yeah, that's when we were not together yep. <laughs> and your that was tough your graduation we were not together yeah and you still invited me yeah i didn't understand that um. <laughs>